What's up guys, it's MTG Matt for you and today we're going into the ladder with a combo deck. It's basically a mono red combo deck with a splash of blue. And the whole idea of this deck is built around Dual Strike, right? Which is a new card from Kaldheim. It's a 2 mana instant in red, which says when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell with CMC4 or less this turn, copy that spell, you may, ch you may choose new targets for a copy, and then you can foretell it to later just cast one red mana instead of two red mana. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, for a while I wanted to build a red burn deck, which really just has spells that go face and you just kill your opponent directly, right? You don't contr you're not too controlly and you don't put creatures on the battlefield, you just go uh, a lot of face damage. And dual strike certainly helps with that. So the idea of this deck is to get fire emancipation on the board, which is a six man enchantment from M21, saying if a source you control would deal damage to a permanent player, it just triple that damage to a permanent player instead. So once we have fire emancipation on board, all of our direct burn spells um, deal like just a shit ton of damage and if we uh, dual strike for example a royal eruption and we cast royal eruption twice with a fire emancipation out it deals twice nine damage to our opponent's face so in total 18 damage and um, yeah once we have fire emancipation out if when we start copying our spells or burn spells then we can really just in one turn one shot our opponent and that's the whole uh, idea of this deck. It's a lot of fun to play. So let's just go quickly through these cards one by one. So we got four Frost Buys, just really nice premium removal from Call Time. Four Spike Field Hazards. Can act as a land, can also act as creature removal, or since you can target anything, you can also just go face with this. Just gives you some more reach in the deck. Then four Seagate Stormcallers. This is the reason why we splash blue in the deck. It's a 2 mana human wizard from Zeneca Rising. And when it ends the battlefield, we cap copy the, nas the next instant or sorcery spell with CMC 2 or less. And then if we kick it, we copy it even twice. So, um, this is just another way of copying our Royal Eruption, basically, or our Bone Crusher Giant to even get more face damage in. Or what's even cooler, we can copy a dual strike. So we'll have twice two dual strikes and then the next the next royal eruption we cast will cast twice will be cast twice or if you like if you copy your dual strike and then get another dual strike then it all multiplies somehow so that's also some cool scenario to go for but yeah, so Royal Eruption is our main way of burning our opponent's face. Two mana, deal three damage to any target, and we can kick it for five to deal five damage instead. Maze of Mind Tome just lets us draw some cards and filter through our deck to find our combo pieces. Bone Crush Giant, some face damage, a solid creature on top. Soul Seer as removal against um, big green creatures or against those seasoned Hello Blades, which can gain Instructable. Two Lethal Form Engines, another just neat addition to the deck. Um, it's a way to also copy our instant sorceries for free mana, or to just um, copy activate or trigger abilities. So, for example, we can copy the Enter the Battlefield effect of Seagate Stormcaller, or we can copy a draw a card effect from Maze Mind Tome, or copy a draw a card effect from Dying Solemn Simulacrum. So, very versatile and just fits neatly into this deck because we want to copy a lot of stuff. For Solemn Simulacrum to ramp a bit um, and draw through our deck faster. And then finally, three Fire Emancipations as our main win condition. And then when we look at our land base, we've got um, the Is it Snow Dual Lands, then the Dual Mole Lands in Is it Colors, 11 Snow Card Mounts to activate our Frostbites, and one Snow Covered Island just so that we can search the Snow Covered Island up with Solemn Simulacrum. Either when we don't have any blue mana yet, or even if we already have one blue mana, we want to search up a second one, so that we can later kick the Seagate Storm Core. Because kicking it in total will cost 7 mana, with a requirement of 2 blue mana in it. And that's the deck, it's very straightforward, very simple, a lot of fun to play, to, you know, just 
uh, play a combo deck and burn your opponent's face. And I actually got to Mythic with this deck, which I find quite funny. So if you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing. Enjoy the video and I see you guys soon. Just some combos. Oh, this looks fine. This looks fine. Let's foretell the dual strike. Uh, we desperately need two lands in a row. And there we go. this turn okay now land please for the solemn yes okay, we will never need more than one blue mana so let's make this red cast our solemn simulacrum Uh, so far so good, um, we've got basically two free combo pieces already. This is a nice target to remove the frostbite. Yes please. Draw a card. There's some simulacrum, it's pretty cool. Well, I get an island. Oh, I actually don't have one. And um, just pass. Uh, we're looking for fire emancipation now, and with fire emancipation, we should be able to just one shot our guy here. Okay, sure. Carter is good. Spike field hazard. Now we only got one red mana available, so and plus this can also go face, so that's a big deal. Okay, let's get rid of you. Okay, we got plenty of mana, but unfortunately. No real way of viewing it. How much? Okay, kicking this actually requires another blue mana, so I probably should put in like one basic island deck so we can search it up. Okay, that's good to know actually. Wait, how much mana do we have? We got six, eight mana. Did I already play land this turn? I did. Wait, I should think about it. So. We can have a super duper combo with casting a solo for 7, cast dual strike for 1, that's 8 mana. And we need 2 more mana for royal eruption, I think that's also an OTK, basically. Yeah, so we should keep that in mind. Uh, okay. Get rid of the Hello Blade here. <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. I keep the spike with Hazard. I think we. If he doesn't remove the Fire Emancipation. Uh, this should just be GG. And I hope the interaction works the way I think it works. So the goal here is copy the dual strike. And then the dual strike copies the royal eruption twice. So we got three copies of royal eruption. Charged up with fire emancipation. Okay, so. Whoops. 
Let's see how this works. No cast you strike. Now we cast Royal Eruption to the face. It works! <laughs> yes. It worked the first time. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Yes. Looks like a good hand here. Um We got the fire emancipation. That's always important. Right now, so we don't need to pass or anything. Okay, so in the best scenario, we draw a card. Okay, we'll just draw a card. Okay. Draw a card, maybe... Okay, Chant? Maybe he plays a small creature, I don't know. Hmm. I wonder what this deck is all about. I mean... It's jumped so far. Okay, there's a Bonecraft Giant. And um, we already got free snow permanence. So... Actually, we can just be mana efficient and draw a card here. No need to get rid of this now. There is a dual strike, okay. Uh, no need to scry. Wow, that amazed my tomb. Okay, so... First things first, let's frostbite the bone crusher giant. And then I actually Hmm. I think we'll just pass. Um I definitely wanna have a land for next turn, but also if we find a land next turn, we want to cast a fireman's plane, so if he plays a big creature now, I want to be able to just remove it, so that the board is empty when we play our off turn away, right? Because uh, fire emancipation... Okay, this is, an, this is pretty annoying, but... Uh, because fire emancipation is a... Pay six mana, do nothing turn, right? Okay, there is our land, very good, because uh, Elf with Nightmare would probably just rip this out of our hands, so let's play it now before it um, disappears. And then, um, well, the good news is our opponent can really grab something from our hand that completely destroys our um, combo here. Because um, probably his best choice is dual strike, but then we're still left with two damage spells to just go face. Yeah, taking the dual strike makes the most sense here. Yeah, that's that's the correct choice here. Uh, but we still got 6 damage here, 9 damage here. Uh, we can... We can kick this yet, we can almost kick it, so... If we kick this, that's 15 damage. And there is Boring Clax, but... Um, 
We can just get rid of it with Soul Seer. It's no big deal. And the cool thing is, um, Warring Clacks make it so that we don't get countered. So if we scry here, there's no counter, so it's just scry for free basically. Now Royal Eruption is really nice. So before we remove this, we'll actually draw a card. Because again, it's for free, right? And then... Um, I think we'll just pass turn. Now the funny thing is for him, he gets double the counters. Uh, <laughs> so it basically makes his Mason and Tom worse. Well, but now we got a dual strike, which means we, I think we have lethal in hand pretty easily. Yeah, we do. So um, we have to account for the fact that he's going to gain four life. So it's basically a twenty-four life here. Um, but we've got eighteen damage here. Eighteen damage plus another six is actually exactly twenty-four. So I think we've won here. Oh! Oh, right! Huh. I mean, we got double souls here, so uh, the Voron Clax is going to be removed either way. Um, you really have to take the Dual Strike here, but even without the Dual Strike, we've just got Leaf, right? So. Oh, actually, that was my mistake. I could have just instant speed removed the Mooring Clax. Yeah, my bad, but it's still enough. Mabi. So this is 18 damage plus 6. It's exactly 24. Cool. Easy. GG. Yeah, I mean, once Fireman's Pavement is out, uh, it's just a ridiculous amount of damage. Hmm. Sand is a little bit low on mana. No, this is a bad hand. This is, this is better. This is definitely better. And I think I'm gonna ditch a frostbite here. Or do we or do we ditch a soul here? I definitely wanna keep the fire emancipation. Um Yeah, probably the soul here. No, actually if he has a seasoned hello blade, if he's mono white, then the soul here is really really good. And we only got three of those in the deck. But okay, this seems like a slow start here. Okay, now our frostbite is fully active. Uh, we are just playing on lands for a turn. And let's see. Let's try to get to fire emancipation.
All right, I've got a liver form engine in the deck. I totally forgot about that actually. To so copy even more of the instant sorceries. Yeah, I actually forgot that this was in the deck. Uh, okay, I mean, let's see how this how this will work out. Okay, I like the simulacrum, and we're actually gonna grab the um, island here. So that we got two sources of blue mana. And we also make this blue so that um, if we... Sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry. So if we get to draw this Seagate Stormcaller, we actually have the mana to kick it. And we also have 6 mana, so we can just um, put down the Fire Emancipation. Yeah, let's just do it. There's no need to wait. And I believe Izzet has no way of interacting with this except for bouncing it with, for example, Brazen Borrow, but there is no uh, enchantment removal. Get the Calamity Bearer, okay. Play our land, obviously. I actually want to play this Solemn Simulacrum here. Just to have more Kato and also if he moves this somehow and you know... Things uh, get a little bit out of control we can just uh, stomp this. Oh wow, okay. I know the stealing 6 damage, but I think we're actually going to draw an additional card. It's way, way more valuable right now. There's another Bonecraft Giant. Maze Mind Tome. Yeah. Take the 6, it's fine. Um, I definitely want to get the Maze Mind Tome down. We're not going to use the Lithoform engine. I think we're just gonna pass here. And there's going to be an interesting interaction here in a moment, which I'll show, which is... We want to remove both these with Frostbite, right? So the plan is play Frostbite. Copy it with the form engine and then kill both of these, okay? But here's the thing this makes Soul this DS double damage, and if we target the Bone Cloak Giant, we, we take two damage. So, I think what we need to do actually is we target Bone Cloak Giant first. Now, this triggers, okay? It's on the stack. Now, we copy the Frostbite. And now we target the Calamity Bearer. Oh shit, we can't pay free. Ah, uh, this is bad. Wait, let me think. Um, but it's still getting... Oh, it didn't get copied. Okay, so well, in that case we just have to get rid of the Calamity Bearer because otherwise it's... Way too much damage. Huh. Fire Emancipation. 
And I don't. I think we keep that actually. I know this is super risky, but how much damage is this? This is six times the damage. Okay, we have to get rid of this. Well, actually, let's think, let's think. Pawns can't gain life. Wait, this, this only deals four damage. So I think the correct play here is to just take the damage, draw a card, as you do. Oh, oh this is, oh my god, this is so much damage. Okay, let's, let's make sure we have enough mana. So I want to cast Dual Strike for two. So we have six mana and copy the Dual Strike for three. Five mana and we still got... Uh, wow, this is so much damage here. So we cast Dual Strike. We... Copy the Dual Strike. And now we stomp our opponent for a billion damage. Ha! <laughs> 80 damage. Yeah. Seems good. Seems good. Bad hand. This is way better. I think we ditched this spike field hazard. Damn, this combo works really, really well, actually. By the way, finally, um, actual strict saving spoilers are coming out. So over the weekend, this whole mystical archive thing got spoiled. Um, but since I'm not playing historic, I'm mainly interested, obviously, in the actual new strict saving cards that are going to be standard legal. And um, yeah, seeing those new cards is pretty cool. At first I wasn't too excited, but now, you know, the cards are coming out and there are actually some juicy cards uh, that I've seen. Uh, so, so far for today the spoilers were about the Lorehold College mainly, so the Boros Red-White College. Let's get a second blue mana here. Yeah, and those cards seem to look pretty cool, well, or look pretty cool. I'm actually going to spike field hazard this, um, because we still got our um, land drop for next turn, plus uh, exile on this is worth a lot, since now it can get, uh, can be cast again with Agony's Awakening, so that's pretty substantial. Plus the Frostbite can just kill um, stuff with higher health tools, such as a Nighthawk Scavenger. Okay, there's the Fire Emancipation, that's good. Just need another land. Yeah, we're just gonna remove everything here. What a top deck! And if we draw another land, we can even kick the eruption. Deal 15 damage that way. And almost just kill our opponent. Also, I shouldn't have a way to interact with this. Oh god. Okay, here's the thing, right? He. He has a counter spell, however. 
I think if you kick this, it has 7 CMC, right? No, it doesn't, so it can be countered by Drawn and Lock. But we just have to take a risk here. Because we're so low on cards and... Uh, it actually went through, so... Opponent's down to 6, we got another Royal Eruption in hand. And uh, he's reading Fire Emancipation now. Not sure what just happened to him. I think he had a counter spell, but he just assumed. Okay, yeah, uh, this deals 5 damage, who cares? And there's the Brazen Borrower, okay. Play this again uh, if this gets countered. That's just the way it is. But at least you could pay for Girard Disruption. I mean, if he's not countering this, we just try to go for the kill. Yeah, okay. Actually, had enough in the graveyard. Um, I could go free face damage, but mm. nah, it seems doesn't seem to doesn't seem to be a good option. Okay, okay. I actually kind of like this because whatever he's getting for a turn, I mean, he's getting fire emancipation, has had no impact for this turn. So we just need. Like a spike field hazard from top. Or a dual strike. <laughs> and it's exactly lethal. <laughs> oh, this is so funny, man. It's working so well. Let's go. Let's go. a good hand. Okay, it's the mirror again. Um, well, actually, I think it makes a lot of sense to have a second red mana here. I'm gonna put a stop. See if he, you know, flashes something in. Okay, so. Obviously removing the Fiscal Enforcer. And we don't have um, free snow permanence yet. We don't even have one yet, so um, this only deals two damage. I think we should put down Amazement on because we don't have any lands yet anymore. An Omen of the Sea. Huh. Actually gonna grab something to drink here. Okay, so he mulled a fire emancipation, which is pretty bad. But let's see, let's uh, make sure we grab a land. That is a land. 
think we'll just take it. Let's take the land. Uh, we can soul seal the thought thief. Okay, no counter spell, so now we can get rid of this guy. Okay. So uh, we definitely need a fireman's page, and it's it's really bad if he uh, mills those. But we still got two more in the deck. Crush a giant. Um, I think we keep that. I think we keep the bone crusher. Let's see if we can frostbite this. I'm frostbiting first, because this goes uh, on target creatures, right? Excellent. Another frostbite, really nice. See a storm coral tonight. And um, now this is a turn. We probably should make sure that we keep up with the land. Right. And we can actually get a second blue mana here, I think that's fine. This can also be a blocker against the Slitherwiz. Okay. Okay, I think... Um, this is not looking too bad now. There's a soul seer also. I think as long as he's so passive, we just try to get our lands on the board. And then, you know, we still got a frostbite on. Also, this will give us a... Sure, I'll take it. This is going to give us a third uh, snow permanent, which... Um, Makes Frostbite so much better. Actually, wanna fl I mean, he's going to flash in the Brazen Borrow, right? Yeah. So let's get rid of the Slither Whisk now. Sign draws another card. And now we actually have a decent mana base and we can maybe try making some plays here. Okay, another red mana. Um, huh. I know, this is a... Um, we don't really have any burn spells yet, we don't have a fire emancipation yet. So we can cast Soul Seeder Instant Speed, Bone Crusher, Seer of 5 mana, so we can actually safely draw a card. Or, instead of drawing a card, we'll just foretell the dual strike. And um, I'm not gonna attack. Okay. Let's 
so let's get rid of the Thought Thief, or at least try to. Very good. And, um... Actually, let this pass. Because I want to um, copy the Bonecrush Giant Stomp. Okay, there's a Seagate Stormcaller, which means we can actually. So we got 8 mana. Oh, this is going to cost. Okay, so let's just. Just do a normal cast here. I'm so happy to be able to find the Seagate Stormcaller. So now we stomp this guy. And now that we have no removal spells left, we might as well cast the Stone Simulacrum here. Let's attack because uh, now chip damage actually becomes relevant. Right, just small instances of damage are uh, relevant because, um, you know, if we copy, for example, Roy Eruption. Got to draw cards. There's a Lithoform engine that can actually help quite a bit. Just game on reach. Okay, there's a Fireman's Patient. Um, I'm not gonna cast this yet. And, um. Probably should have cast this to have Lethal next turn. Yeah, um. But it's fine. Can still find other burn spells. Or we can just ignore the Cunning Knight Bonder. I should have played the Bones Crush Giant. Actually, that is not too bad for us. Because we get rid of this guy. Right, we copy this. Oh shit. Okay, now we cast the Fire Emancipation. <laughs> we can copy it because we got... How much? We got uh, 11 mana. You know, if you have two Fire Emancipations out, it's like... Um, if you just tip your opponent, he's dead. Just... Because this makes so that... Uh, we deal nine times as much damage. Yeah, let's. We're just getting the big guns out here. Sure. I mean, it would be nice to actually kill him with um, with a burn spell, with the dual strike. But these giants can also do it. And did we actually do it? Did we get to Mythic? Finally. Okay, there's a Nighthawk Scavenger. Seven life can can we get through that? I think we can. Nine times four is thirty-six, so Oh no burn spell. Too bad. But uh It's um GG still. Man, did we do it? Did we get to Mythic?
We did it. Mythic minus 54 life. Yes, let's go. Show me that mythic badge. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of content and want to see more fresh decks and standard meta decks, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And I see you guys soon.